Hi there, this is going to be a general love reading for the sign of Scorpio. Hello, Scorpios, this is your December readings. There will be an extended if you feel, you know, that this one resonates and you want to purchase that. It would be in the December extended readings, which can be found on my website, saltwaterheelstarot.com, or click the link below. In the description box, everything pops up. No oh boy, you got deception. Someone is wearing a false self mask in this relationship. So someone's pretending. Now this can be good or bad. There could be people in your life that are pretending that they have good intentions for you, right? But honest to Christ, this says in a relationship and it made me instantly feel the typical Scorpio thing is to pretend they don't care. But care a whole fucking lot. So someone here is pretending they don't care. So typical scarf. Retreat. It's time to disconnect from the world. So this person's hiding something from the world. And it says love yourself first. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. Very self-explanatory. Okay, so for some of you, this is a very big message. Bitch, love you. It starts with us. Self-love. We've always said that's the key. Okay? Because like attracts like. But this retreating is keeping it to yourself and, and the deception is some of you could be downplaying. It's funny because if you're connected with an Aquarius, go watch that reading that I just did because it's the same kind of vibe. Like downplaying it, lying to themselves, not wanting to admit it. It's, it's the same vibe. <sighs> Scorpio is literally about what lurks beneath the surface. So someone here has hidden this. See, someone here feels left out. They feel like like they don't stand a chance that's what it fucking is someone here doesn't think they have a chance um they don't think they have a chance with this person maybe they think like they would you, they would say no i'm not their type i, they, I don't think i'm their type mm, justice libra i feel like these two people balance each other out very well they're very yin and yang so I think it would be a match. And I think that that's what's scary is that because it may be so opposite, you know, you might think it's not going to work. But I think it will, the devil. Three cups. So there's some kind of a cheating, possibly a third party thing. But it could also be fear of, obsession. Wanting to just indulge in this person. Not as Capricorn energy, right, the devil. But it feels like this um, lusting. Uh, it's like someone's thirsty for the other person, if you will, honey. Okay, I don't make the rules. I just channel the message. Six. I mean, I break the rules though. But six of cups here. This is past life. So there's this really deep past life soulmate connection with this person. So it's more than just physical. It's it's not just I want to fuck you. It's my souls. Our our souls want to fuck. My soul wants to fuck your soul. And, you know, Scorpios are really deep as far as that goes with sexual energy because they're the sign that rules the lower extremities. So for Scorpio, this is a huge act, you know, for them, if they have sex with you, it's like they own you now in this possessive sort of way. Eight of Wands, communication, some kind of communication, but the communication could be literally saying, I feel like I know you before. Have we met before? Because it fell on the Six of Cups. Have we met before? Why do I feel like I know you? Do I know you? It's the fucking stranger you recognize, bitch. Mm, Knight of Cups. See, they're not they're not portraying what it really is. Keeper of Secrets with the High Priestess. They're they're pretending. Keeper of Secrets, right? There's someone's holding back. They're not being honest. But also, the High Priestess speaks about intuition. You know, Scorpios are a hell of a fucking intuitive sign. Extremely intuitive. But they're very poker-faced. See how the high priestess, she's very poker-faced. That's what I'm talking about. Someone here is poker-faced. They're trying to play it off. Oh, but look at that erection. Ace of Wands, look at that passion. Look at that. There's some kind of a feeling, a vibe. Yeah, they're trying to pretend, all right. They're poker face, but is, is that, a, is that a, a big pen in your pocket? Is that a big Sharpie? Or are you just happy to see me? That's what I thought. Mm, ten of fucking cups. Told you, they're pretending. They feel all of this emotions. They feel all of this stuff. But someone here is downplaying it or pretending. Um, someone here is fearful that 
they're not good enough. And listen, they might be on the same playing field as you, but whatever it is in their mind that makes them think they're not is just what it is. It outweighs everything. It can also be a fear of rejection. You've got to be kidding me. Look at what it is. It's the Seven of Swords. This is deception. It's lying to oneself. It's pretending. It's trying to get away with something. It's like someone here is legitimately trying to get away with this thing about not, not owning what they feel. Two of Wands. Life-changing decisions. Making a choice. Three of Cups. Reunion. And then the Nine of Wands. Wounded Warrior. See, someone wants to be more casual. This is casual. I want to be casual because it's safer. Me not putting myself out there. Me not revealing. Me not being open and vulnerable. It keeps me safe. See, they're not taking a leap of faith the fool. They're not. This person here is holding back a hell of a fucking lot. Seven of Cups, confusion. And then the Five of Wands, fighting with oneself. It's It screams like... What are you waiting for? What are you waiting for? Love me like you do. Touch me like you do. It's like, what the fuck are you doing? What are you doing? Are you Why are you pretending you don't give a shit? No, look, exclamation mark, no. They're lying though. You know, if someone tells, and this is not for everybody, because for some people it is a no. And it is unreciprocated, okay? But whoever this is, I'm channeling this for, they, this is, and you would know this because this could be you. You might be saying, I'm not interested. No, I'm not. And you say no, but you really, it's really a yes. It's for fear. See, bitch, you cannot make it up. No, exclamation mark. And then yes, fell right on top. It's, we're done here. We're done here. Let's get into extended. I fucking told you, bitches. All right, thank you for your likes, your shares, and your subscriptions here on YouTube. Please be sure to follow me on Instagram, xi underscore missy underscore xi. And I will see you, Scorpios and Scorp Cross Watchers, in your extended, the December extended readings, okay? Love you guys. Bye.